Alright, guys, can you see me? Alright, let's start off nice big squat. Set for the arms. Okay, two more. And the other way. Let's go. Nice big circles. Sink your legs. Nice big deep breath. And release, okay? Arms up. Chest forward. Alternating arm in front. Four more. Nice big stretch. Open through the chest. Shoulders. And I can't count. All right, two more. And release, switch side to side. Lifting up for your back heel. Rotating, relaxing your shoulders. And two more. And release, back to squat. Good, squat, back. Nice and high. Big reach. Squeeze your glutes. And two more. All right, we're going to change the yard. Always in and squeeze. That's it. Always together. Keep your chest up. And contracted. And really, if you can your arms forward this time. Reach out in front. We're going to work those legs today. And two more. I release. From here, we're going to up. Nice big squat. Reach up nice and high. Okay, two more. Up. Out across the chair. Nice strong arms. Use your legs, power, and a little shoulder roll. That's it. And take a roll forward. And release to the hold into a squat position. Hold. And little pulses. Squeeze. And two more. And hold. Rotating through your wrists. Good. Stay there. And opposite way. And release. Coming all the way up. We're going to draw a figure eight with your arm. Releasing through your shoulder. Last one. We're going to take it backwards. Backwards. Figure eight. And we're going to switch arms. Go forwards first. Nice big circles. And then backwards. Go, go. I don't even know the music. I'm just singing because I like to sing. And two more. And release. Go head up and down. Let's go. Up. All right, looking to your left, left to right, and back down and up. Let's go down, up, down, up. Last one. I look to your left, right, and two more each side. Last one. We're going to tilt to the left, tilt to the right. Left, right, releasing through your shoulders. And nice big head roll. And take it back the other way. And release, okay, take your arms out, little circles. Keep your arms nice and strong. Activate your core, squeeze your glutes, and arms back the other way. Nice little circles. Keeping your arms strong. 
And press your fingers down towards the floor. And release, gate. Open and close. Open and close. All right, fingers one by one. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I release, take your legs down a little wide. Okay, we're from here, we're gonna shoot that body weight. Side to side, dropping your chest and shoulder towards the floor. And two more. And single, single, double. Single, single, double. Single, double. Two more. Last one. And release. Okay, dropping down. Open your knees nice and wide. Sink your butt down. Try and kick your chest up. Can you guys see me? Good. All right, from here, we'll go into a downward dog. All right, downward dog. Bring your feet in, butt up nice and high. Press your heels to the floor. Press through your fingers. Drawing your shoulders away from your ears. And shift that body weight forwards into plank. Hold. And press back, downward dog. Squeeze. Come forwards. Hold. And press back last time. And come forwards to plank. Okay, taking your left leg, take a big step forwards into a lunge position. Open your chest towards your knee. Hands to the opposite side. Open your chest the opposite direction. Hands back down. Step back, change legs. Right leg step forward. Open towards your knee. And into the inside of your foot. Open chest. And release, come down. Onto your hands and knees. Arms forward, sink your butt down. Nice big stretch. Walk those fingertips forward. Hands underneath shoulders, arching through the spine. And release. Arch, release, arch, relax, one more time, all the way up, and release, from here I'm going to bring that body up and around, nice big circles. And take it back the opposite direction. And relax. Okay, take one arm forwards, palm up, shoulder to floor, slide through. Nice big stretch. Change your arms, reach forwards, slide that hand underneath, shoulder to floor, palm up. And coming all the way up, take a lunge. Tuck that pelvis under, square your hips up. Nice big reach, a little arch back. Looking towards the ceiling. And bring your hands down to the floor. Straighten out your leg. Pull your toes back. Nice straight back. And switch, other leg. Step forwards, make sure your hips are nice and square, tuck that pelvis, arms up, little arch back, looking up. Hands to the floor, straighten out through your leg, pull your toes back. Are we all feeling good? Yep, good. All right, coming all the way up and to your feet. Okay, feet in nice and close and pole, inside hand up, outside hand, press your hips out to the side, 
Look towards your armpit. Just checking everyone. And take it out. Okay, step it out, hand at shoulder height, turn your chest away from the pole. I tried to pick good music. Alright, and switch across the other side. Feet in nice and close to the base of the pole. Upside hand reaching up nice and high. Press your hips out to the side. Look towards your armpit. I like to move it, move it. And step it out. Hand at shoulder height, chest forward. is a good song. All right, turn around. Okay, arms lock, nice straight back. Press that chest towards the floor. Let's to move it, move it. And come in. Okay, feet to the base of the pole, arms up nice and high, slide your hands up. Press your butt into the pole, keep your legs straight, arching for your lower back chest forward. And release. Okay, shake it out. Grab yourself a quick drink if you need to. Wipe down your poles. We're going to get straight into it. So starting off with our oblique side crunches. Okay, so outside leg close to the pole if you want to work harder. Step it out if you want to work that little bit less. Take that leg up nice and high. Squeeze, make sure it's that hip height. Pull your toes back. Hands out. Cross your chest. Extend. And we're going to bring our body down to the side. Activating through our core, working our obliques. Squeeze about 15 of these on each side today. 15. Good. Try and make sure you keep that chest, elbows out. So don't bring your elbows in, keep your elbows wide. That's it, good. So 15 on this side, then we're gonna switch and do 15 on the other side. Make sure you keep that grip right behind the back of your leg. Press your foot that's on the floor into the ground. Make sure you're not wearing socks like I am. Do you do not slip? All right, let's go. 15, opposite side. Good, Alex. Oh, she's got these little um, tricky hands in there. She's working with the music. Good. Okay, so 15. Once you turn 15 on that side, you're going to come down onto the floor. Hopefully you guys can see me. You should be able to. Alright, so once you're done, come down onto the floor, laying on your back in front of the pole. So head up the front of the pole. Alright. Alright, so we're going to make sure our head's in front of the pole. Can you guys see me? Yeah? All right, good. All right. Okay, bring our hands into a cut grip to make sure fingers and thumb are both back behind the pole. From here, I'm going to lift my knees into a tap position, pulling my lower back into the floor so belly button to spine, tilt my pelvis, and then we're going to bring our knees all the way into our chest and then slowly rolling down through the spine for each vertebrae. Okay, so tilt that pelvis before you lift. Bring your knees away up to your shoulders and chest, and then slowly rolling out. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. I want 15 of those as well. Make sure you activate your core, squeeze your glutes, keeping your knees together. Make sure your head's at the front of the pole. Head at the front of the pole. Yep, good. So 15 of these. Make sure you roll down nice and slow so you're rolling down through each vertebrae one by one. 
Hi John, Sarah May. I can see your butt. <laughs> That's it. And your foot. <laughs> Slow, 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 beautiful. That's it, good. I can see you now. <laughs> All right, so 15 of those. Keep those knees in that tuck position. Make sure you keep breathing as well. All right, our next one from that. We did this one last week as well. Same position. Okay, we're going to bring our legs up. Add into the straddle, tilt that pelvis, rolling up onto our shoulders. You can touch your toes down. So we're rolling back down through the spine, feet together, then lower. Try not to let your feet touch the floor. Up, open, tilt, roll. Back down nice and slow, feet together, then feet down. 15 of those. 15 is my favorite number today. So make sure you activate, squeeze your core, working your legs. Activate your glute. Tense. Squeeze every inch of your body. Good. You right, Nina? You okay? Nina? Do you want me to do it again for you? Alright, so here, the legs up, straddle, tilt, down, low, back to floor, slow, feet together, then lower. Keep pulling through your arms as well. Okay? 15. Everyone good? Yeah. Alex, good? Yeah, okay, good. Alright. Alright, next one from there. We're going to roll around into our Superman push up. We've got a couple of variations today. Alright. So, first one, coming into our Superman push up. Make sure you squeeze the pole between you, JJ. Alright. Press you through your arms, come up onto your tippy toes. Press up, squeeze, bring your legs, tense and squeeze. Arms a little wider than shoulder width. We're just gonna go into our normal push-up. So 10 of those. Make sure you have a really good grip between your legs. Squeeze your glutes, tense your legs, point your toes. 10 of those. And then we're gonna change our hand position. Good, good, good. So 10. The hard part is getting up first. <laughs> so lift your legs, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your glutes. Yep, good. Chest the floor if you can. Good. All right, next time we're gonna work our triceps. We're gonna do a tricep push up. So if you need to bring your knees down onto the floor in this one, you can. All right, the same thing, squeeze. Hands go directly underneath shoulders. Elbows in, squeeze. So don't want to bring your elbows out wide. Elbows go in nice and close to your rib cage, pressing up. If you need to drop down to your knees, hands down, elbows in nice and tight. Okay, 10 of those. Good. Good, good, good. So make sure your hands go directly underneath your shoulders, bending your elbows in towards your rib cage. Activity for your core, keeping it in nice and strong. Good, nice work, Deb. How are we going, Christy? Are you hurting already? She's hurting. We've got one more. <laughs> we have one more after this. We're going to do diamond push-ups. 
So, with our diamond push up, so our hands are going to go into a diamond shape. Okay, our hands are going to be directly underneath our chest. So, normally our hands are out a little bit wider. This time our fingers are going to come in and we're going to work in, keeping our elbows in nice and tight. Squeeze hands in a diamond. Squeeze elbows in. Otherwise, come down onto your knees, same position. Elbows in, hands directly underneath your chest with this one. And I promise this is the last one so our legs won't hurt anymore. Yep, so diamond position with your hands, perfect. Yep, Nina, try and make sure you bring your elbows in. So your elbows go back like a tricep push up as well. Yeah, that's it, beautiful. How you going, Alex? Christy, what are you doing? She's done? She's done. <laughs> How'd you go, Sarah May? Good? Yeah? Dead? Alright, good. Alright, coming up. Get to a standard position with do some squats on the pole. This we're all at a pretty good level. Okay, hands just above your head. Bring your legs into a squat position. I want 10 for up, single arm. 10. Or you can use both arms. Squeeze in nice and tight to get chest in. Activate your core. Using your biceps. Do not fully extend the release into that shoulder. Keep a slight micro bend when you're into your pull. Making sure you're drawing your shoulders down and back with your pull ups. So up, pull, keep that chest up. Nice and high. So want 10 on your right side and 10 with your left. Make sure you try and do one arm if you can. Most of you should be at one arm. All right, so 10 each side. Squeeze between your ankles and knees. Activate your core, squeeze your glutes, shoulders down and back. Pull in through your bicep. Yeah. Work, everyone. Good. Alright. Are we doing both sides yet? Yeah. Good. Alright. Just about there. Christy, both sides. Yep. Alright. Good. Alright, moving on to our next one. We're going to do a pole pull up. Woo, it's corporate. Okay, making sure your feet are in triangle position. Arm just above my head, pulling my shoulders down and back, engaging. From here, I want you to use your bicep, pull up, and then release back down. Okay, arms just above the head or head high, pull my shoulders down and back, chest forward. Squeeze my glutes, activating my legs, up, pull, and release. I'm sweating. Try and lift your feet up as high as you can. Everyone's like disappeared, where are we? <laughs> Sarah, try and keep your legs back behind the pole if you can. So squeeze your glutes, yes, that's it, much better, good. Yeah. Good. So if you're finding that really hard, you can bring your knees onto the pole and do the same thing. So knees onto the pole, arms down, pull and release. Pull and release. Okay, so if you do find that really hard, you can use your knees. Yep, squeeze. 
Low your arms and we'll get lower, Nina. Yeah. Shoulders down and back. Come up onto your tippy toes because it makes your body weight a little bit lighter before you even start. Make sure you swap arms as well. So we're going to do 10 on each side or 5 to 10. Pulling up, lift, squeeze, and then release back down. You don't have to lift up super high. That's it, much better. Good. I find if I don't have a shirt on, my body sticks to the pole. If I have to wear a shirt. <laughs> Chrissy's rubbing her belly. <laughs> She's sticking. Alright, so I want at least 5 to 10 on each side. We probably won't get out 10, but at least try and do 5. How you going, Alex? Good? Okay, good. I can kind of see you, but I can't see you. Like, is, it, is there a big desk there? I can see your body, like half of it, the top half. Yeah, maybe move it forward a little bit so you can see more of the pole. Yeah, that's it. That looks, yeah. I can see a lot more now. That's better. Thanks. All right, next one. We want to do the same thing, but we're going to go out to the side this time. All right, so feet in front and hips in front. Inside hand at shoulder height, outside hand up on top. Make sure you keep your chest, shoulders square to the front. We're going to engage. Bring our hands up a little bit higher if you need to. We're going to up, forward, leg jumping, release, tense, squeeze, come back down. Set your position. So the higher you have your arms, the harder it is. The lower you have them, the easier it is. Focus is try not to jump. I want you to actually engage and pull. So pull your shoulders down and back, up, and release. It's the same thing, but we're doing it to the side of the pole this time. Activate your legs. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Good. No jumping at all. So no jumping. Try and keep that chest, shoulders square to the front. Start off on your tippy toes, Alex. Tippy toes up nice and high. Yep, good. Engage your core. Shoulders down and back. Pull through your arms using your bicep. Tense your legs and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Good, good. Keep going. Okay, so let's do five on each side. We can do five with our right side, five with our left. Hands up. Engage. Shoulders down and back. Release, starting off in your chippy toes. It makes it a little bit easier. Up, pull, pull, pull. And release back down. Keeping that whole body activated from shoulders, core, glutes, legs, toes. Squeeze your whole entire body. Making sure you're drawing your shoulders down and back so that when you're pulling, your shoulders are not up near your ears. How are we feeling? Are we sweating? Yes, good. All right, so five each side. We're doing lots of, lots of upper body weight today. But we will finish with lower body as well. Okay, I'm gonna keep moving. So we're gonna go into what we call a external rotation. Okay, so coming up onto my chippy toes, inside hand at shoulder height, outside hand up above. Okay, drawing your shoulders down and back, engaging through your lats, pulling through your biceps. Gonna lift my knees up, external rotation, touch the pole, back, legs together, then down. Okay, so my knees come up into the top first, external rotation, pull, up, knees together, then down. 
five on each side. So try not to let your body drop. Engage your core. Activate that whole time. You cannot do your tilt back. I just want you to go up into your knee top. External rotation hold. Bring your knees back together, then lower down. So knee back. So no jumping. Oh. So when you go back into your um, tilt, I want you to make sure you keep your legs in your froggy position. Okay, so I'm here. Up. Up. Touch. Pull. In. And down. So that when you're pulling your body back up from that tilt, that you're trying to kiss your hand. Not allowing your body to drop. Keep using your arms. Because the whole idea is not to make sure your arms are too high with this one. Hands should always be at shoulder height. Working on our invert. Go again, Christy. Good, Sarah May. Nice. Good, Deb. All right, so Christy, what I want you to do is make sure you bring your knees together first and then rotate into external rotation for your knees. How are we feeling? Are we dying yet? Good. Try and use your arms more, Christy. Engage, engage, engage. You are done, Sarah May. Yeah? Okay. Nina? Done both sides? Yep. Alex? Yep, good. Okay. Whew. Okay, next one. We're going to go into a different position. Same position, but different leg movement. All right, so from here, we're going to go into our knee top. And then we're going to go into our pike. And then we're going to go into a straddle. And then you can bring your feet back down. Start off in your position again. Knee taps. Pike. Straddle. Okay, one four on each side. You can bring your feet down every time you need to to reset your body position. Making sure you keep your shoulders down and back, engage your core, squeeze your glute, tense oh, your sorry. leg. Sorry, I just want to confirm, it's cup, height, then straddle. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, tuck, height, then straddle. Okay, so at least four in each side. You can have a rest after you do each rep. You can bring your feet down or you can keep going and power all the way through. So make sure your inside hand is at shoulder height, outside hand above, engaging, pulling your shoulders down and back, using your lats. Good. I'm controlling all of them. This will be our last invert one. Okay, so for each side, we're using our arms a lot today. And then we're gonna do some core work after this one. So squeeze, top. Height, straddle. Whoa. Nice, Deb. <laughs> Read <Really> gadget there. <laughs> yeah. It's hard, isn't it? Very hard. 
Once you get stronger in all these, you're gonna start doing them aerial. From an aerial top. We want to build some strength up for ourselves first. How the arms feeling? Good. <laughs> Have you done both sides? Yes? Yep. Alright, good. Alright, our next round, we're going to go into our bent leg lay back and we're going to do some sit ups from that. Put your thumbs up if you can do a bent leg lay back. So no. Yeah. Nina, yeah. You can do a bent leg lay back. No, it's Alex. No, okay, that's fine. I'll give you something else to work on. All right, I'm going to start the others off in a bent leg lay back. Make sure you wipe behind the back of your knees so you've got really good leg grip. We're not going to go too high anyway. All right, so we're going to go into our bent leg, bent leg lay back. From here, crunchy, make sure you squeeze so the pole sits right in the crease of the knee. Arms go back, and we're going to crunch up and down. If you want to go a little bit lower to the floor, you can go a little bit lower. So you can actually come down onto your shoulders if you need to. So in this position, so my shoulders are like quite low to the ground. Up and release. Hands can go across, hands can go out to the side. I want five with our right leg crossed, five with our left leg crossed. All right. Are we ready? All right, Alex, what we're going to do is... I need a butt fan for home. <laughs> <laughs> I think I do too. I should turn the fan on actually, but I haven't. All right, Alex, you're just going to crunch up. Keep your elbows out nice and wide. Shoulders off the floor, chest up. So you're going to do 10 of those. So feet right up against the floor. Yep, good. Everyone else is going to go into a bent leg lay back. Hopefully you have lots of grip. If you're not feeling secure, do not go too high. You can also have the option of holding your foot and crunching up with one arm. That was a nice work, Sarah Mae. That was good. So she actually held her foot when she was going into it. So if you feel like you are slipping, you can actually hold your foot. Good. So make sure we do five on each side. So five with your right leg crossed, five with your left leg crossed. Good. It does make it a little bit easier if you do hold your foot. So if you need to hold your foot, you may do so. Let go. All right, five, done. Yeah, all right, we've got a challenge for you next. <laughs> Are we ready to go? We're going to go into a plank position. So we're going to go into a plank position, starting off on our knees. Okay, so activating your core. Glutes in, we're going to grab the pole, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. So we have 10 on each side, so 10 with your right hand on top, 10 with your right hand down, and then you're going to switch into 10 with your left, 10 with your right. If you're fighting that too hard, you can just tap the pole, so you can go tap, 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 tap. Okay, so you have a couple of options. On two your knees, just tapping the pole or grabbing the pole. Good. Good, nice work. Keeping that core nice and strong, squeezing your glutes. So make sure you're not too close to the pole, make sure you're not too far out away from that pole either. And then we're going to check in a little challenge after this. We're going to see if we can do it. How 
Where's Dan? Come on, come on. We're nearly there. I promise. You're working really great today. How you going there, Dad? Good? Good work. Good, good, good. <laughs> Come on, Alex, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do a little challenge. So, we're gonna get into a proper plank position. So we're gonna grab, grab, down, down, I'm gonna walk, and grab, grab, down, down. Then walk, grab, grab, down, down. If you need to go onto your knees, you can do your knees as well. So knees, but I want you to walk around on your toes. Drop to your knees, grab, grab, down, down. Then walk. I ran out of room. Okay, so over on your knees, grab the pole. Onto your toes and hands, walk around the pole a quarter of the way, and then back on. Alright, it's harder grabbing the ball in from a plank position. Walk around, Christy. That's it. Grab the ball. Good work. Nice work, Sarah May. Go, Nina. Go, Nina. Yep, good, good. Alex, drop down to your knees if you need to. Grab the ball. All right, once you've done one loop around, I want you to go back the opposite direction. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Sarah and Chrissy are both shaking their heads, going, no! We did a cardio challenge last week, so today we're doing strength and core. <laughs> Good work. You guys are nearly there. Doing great. Christy and Sarah May smashing it. And Nina too. Go Alex. Yes. Come on, you're nearly there. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Good, good, good. Beautiful. Sarah's got the ball there for some reason. <laughs> Alright, we've got one last exercise that we're going to finish off with today. We're going to do a side plank. Can you guys see me if I go here? Yeah? If I'm here? Yeah? Alright. Because I'm stronger on my right side. Alright, so we're going to go into... Oh, actually, I might have to go on an angle. There's no room. Okay, I'm going to go into like a side plank. So making sure my elbow is directly underneath my shoulders. Okay, bringing my leg down to my legs out, keeping my body nice and straight. Hand goes up into a top grip, pulling through my top arm, pushing my bottom arm. I'm going to lift that leg, squeezing, squeeze, squeeze. If you want to work a little bit harder, you can go into a side plank, grabbing the pole, side plank, keeping that body nice and straight. So imagine your body between two panes of glass, leg up and down. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So really pulling through my top arm. Engaging my core, squeezing my glutes, tensing my leg. So I'm into it. Elbow plank or a hand plank. So make sure with your hand position, if it's nice and straight, that it's at the side of the pole, not back behind the pole. Okay, so to the side, pulling through my top arm, so I'm engaging. As you can see, my top arm is back. Lift up and squeeze. I wave them to my elbow, flexing through my forearm, elbow up. You do the same thing here. Or you can bend that leg up and engage. So we have a couple of variations that you can do. So ten, one, ten on each, on each side. side. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> ten. So ten right hand, ten left. 
So imagine your body between two panes of glass. Sarah, bring your top hand up a little bit higher. Sarah, maybe top hand a little bit higher. That's it, good. You're right, Nina. Yep, so your hand goes into a cup grip, so fingers and thumb behind the pole. Yep, pulling through that top elbow, so pulling your elbow out to the side. Yep, perfect. And lift up and squeeze. All right, so 10 on each side. I did say we're going to do a few little different things today. Good. Christy, you done? Both sides? Can I see one more on each side, please? Let him see them. Try and turn your body so that I can kind of see you a little bit. That's better. Thank you. How are we feeling? All right, we're gonna come down and do a little stretch before we finish up. I will unmute everyone, so if we need to chat. I think I unmuted, did I? I'm dying. Yeah, it does. You unmuted, uh, it just comes and asks us a question, do we wanna be unmuted? So you have to say yes. Sorry? It asks us if we wanna be unmuted. Okay, alright, cool. Alright, okay, coming into a sit position. Okay, stretch out to the side. Has anyone got any questions? That last one was great. I'm not, like, because I'm at home and I've got everything lying around, I was able to use the band to put my short arm in. Yeah. So I was covering That's the good. On yeah. So I really like that. Yeah, it's a really good one. I haven't, like, I haven't done it for a while. Um, I used to do it all the time. Yeah, it's a really good oblique one as well. That's why I chucked it in. I'm right. doing some of those on Friday. Oh, are you? Yeah. Yay! Same hand position or different? Well, it's technically still abs, but it will be without the pole, so. Yeah, okay, awesome. Yeah, there's heaps of variations you can do in that. Oh, that's yeah. just the easy, yeah, that's just the easy one. All right, stretch across to the other side. Has so anyone got any questions? Everyone happy? Yeah, glad I did it even though it sucks. Like, yeah, I see? Really you, yeah. you always feel better. Yes. Yes. Did we enjoy that class today? Was it hard? Yes. Oh my gosh, hard. But, yeah? I was really wishing I hadn't had that. I was really wishing I hadn't had that glass of gin at four o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> was it was it that strong, was it? Uh, it was a double. <laughs> oh my god. Struggle yeah. forward. If, 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 oh, not. if it wasn't oh, you only live you even there, like <laughs> Yeah. Exactly. You only live life once, so you might as well make the most of it. So was it too much upper body work or, or was it okay? Oh, it was good. It was just tough. Yeah. Well, tomorrow. Okay. I'm just not used to it because of the handstand stuff. I've been doing a lot of pushing, not so much pulling. Yeah. 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 I'm trying to mix it up like so we're not doing the same stuff every week. So some yeah. things will be the same, but there will be different stuff as well. Yeah. Ooh. So I've got next week's planned already. <laughs> Woo <-hoo! laughs> and I'm looking forward to it. All right, bring your feet in. Knees open nice and wide. Press your knees towards the floor. Nice straight part. So, do we all have much planned for the weekend? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> That's only two days away. <laughs> I, it's not really two days. Yeah, but there's nowhere to go. I know. <laughs> I know, that's a sad part, eh? All right, take one leg across, sit and twist. Looking over your back shoulder. Well, Sarah May, you'll be right. You've got gin and tonic there. That's right. 
I'm pretty sure once we finish this isolation, everyone will be out partying. <laughs> I think I might be too. <laughs> All right, and switch across to the other side. Keeping that chest up nice and high, back straight. And release, coming over into your knees. Okay, arms forwards, go into a child's pose. Nice big stretch for the arms and shoulders. Think about drawing your armpits towards the floor, sinking your butt down. And walk your arms over to one side, big stretch, draw that armpit towards the floor. Walking your arms over to the other side. And coming all the way up. Okay, arm across the chest, release the shoulder. Also, I think you chose fabulous music, baby. Oh, did I? Oh, thanks. It's hard to pick from that music. Yeah. It's not like heaps, but I kind of try to pick a lot of upbeat songs. Other side. So that'll be my playlist every week. <laughs> and it's like we can find um, some other music. Alright, take your arms back behind, squeeze between your shoulder blades, push that chest forward. It's hard because like, I'm not used to that kind of music. It's very different to what I have. Yeah, no, <laughs> no one is happy to use copyright free music. No. Yeah, but well, it's all right. All right, tilt your neck down to one side. And to the other side. And just release, rolling through your wrist. And the opposite way. And a little shoulder roll to finish. And the opposite direction. And that's it, ladies. Thank you very much, everyone. Did awesome. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Everyone did really great. It was awesome.